Hey guys, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. Today I want to talk to you about a piece of gear that I've used over the past few months that I've really grown to love when editing in Final Cut Pro 10. It's the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. Now there are plenty of reviews on YouTube on how to use this mouse. What I thought I'd do is show you how I use it in Final Cut Pro 10 and why I think it's the best mouse for video editing. Now let's look at how I program the buttons on this mouse for use in Final Cut Pro. First, you'll need to go to Logitech's website and download a little app called Logitech Options. Once launched, go to the Applications menu and choose the app you want to control with the mouse. Hovering your pointer over the various buttons will reveal what Final Cut commands they're currently mapped to. To change the command or operation associated with the button, click it and a menu of options appears. Then choose an option from the list. In most cases, however, you'll want to create a custom keyboard assignment by selecting this option, then typing in your shortcut into the field to the right. Now let me quickly show you how I have my buttons mapped. Because I do a lot of voiceover editing, I have the button set up for fast cutting, deleting, and trimming. So here I am in Final Cut Pro, and I have a voiceover clip loaded into the timeline. Using the side scroll wheel with my thumb, I can quickly zoom in or out of my clip whenever I need a micro or macro view of the audio waveform. The main scroll wheel at the top of the mouse I use with the shift key on my keyboard for scrolling left and right. When I want to make a cut, I skim to the location, then press down on the scroll wheel. I'll make another cut here. To delete the unwanted section, I'll select it by pressing C on the keyboard, then press the button just below the scroll wheel, which is set up as a delete selection operation. This button is also really great for removing selection ranges. I'll create a range around these words using the I and O keys, then tap this button to remove the selection. When trimming voiceover, I often need to clean up the timing at the edit points. I've mapped the two side buttons to the Trim Start and Trim End commands from this menu. I'll skim over the end of this clip, then when my skimmer is in position, I'll press the left button to trim it to the skimmer. I'll then skim over to the start of the incoming clip and press the right button to trim the head. It's also a really fast and accurate way to trim when you're zoomed in and you need to shave off only a few frames on either side. For the button directly under my thumb, I have mapped to a very specific sound editing command. If you look at this waveform, there's a lot of junk between words that need cleanup. The way I handle this is to create a range around the noise, then from the Modify menu choose Adjust Volume, Silence. Notice here that the keyboard command that is assigned is Command S. This command had to be custom assigned in Final Cut Pro's command editor, because no keyboard shortcut is assigned to it by default. Once assigned, this is the command that I entered for this button in the Logitech app. Now all I need to do to remove the junk is tap down with my thumb, which creates four audio keyframes and reduces the volume to silence between them. It's then really fast to skim over your sound clip, create ranges around the unwanted noise, then tap the button to silence it. So I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this particular mouse, or maybe another mouse that you like, or maybe you're continuing to use Apple's Magic Mouse and you like it. I'd be interested in your comments. Please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future videos. And thanks for watching.